This content has been deemed inappropriate for children under 13. Viewer discretion is advised. This is for adults only. Adult collectibles. So back in the Toy Biz days, we did have a very disappointing Black Widow. This was in Series 8. Came with a little stand and a uh, flight stand. She also had a variant. Again, very disappointing. You look at that neck and the way it looks, the head, the way it sits on it. Torse, everything is bad about these figures, these female figures back in the day. But Toys R Us released us a two pack from the fans' choice winner. And of course, the winner was Hulk and Valkyrie. But they also gave us these that were shown at the, the SDCC convention. So this one was the black suited version with the Winter Soldier. I love the body, the head, not so much. But still, a very great figure. And then we also had the gray suit. I like this one. I own this one. And it came with a short-haired variant as well. This, one, this one's face actually looked a lot better than the long-haired one. So then in the Mandroid Build-A-Figure Wave, which was Captain America the Winter Soldier, you had the Scarlett Johansson's first figure. And then in a Age of Ultron box set, this was re-released, or this was released with a Thor, the Black Widow again, with this time with some blue stripes, the Bruce Banner, and the Hawkeye, Jeremy Renner. I like this one. I like those blue stripes. Then in the first vintage wave, we had this, what we like to call Mary Jane Watson head Black Widow. Then in the Legendary Riders, we got another Black Widow. This one, again, with a disappointing head. We, we just still have not got the head right yet, but I love the bike. In the Call Obsidian Build-A-Figure Wave, we had the blonde-haired Black Widow MCU. And then re-released in a UK version was the Scarlett Johansson Black Widow. And again, re-released in the UK, this time with a Thanos Build-A-Figure, was the blonde-haired Black Widow. Then we were able to get the Quantum Realm suits with the Black Widow head. So just announced and showing up on websites now to pre-order, we have the Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure for the Black Widow Wave. This is very exciting news. Here's Black Widow, uh, Scarlett Johansson playing her version of it. And also here, here is the Yelena Belova version of her. I'm not really sure how this one's going to look. Uh, the face printing technology doesn't look like they were used on this one at all. But we'll see. So here is the new deluxe Marvel Legend figure for the Black Widow movie with her White Widow costume, if you want to call it that, Scarlett Johansson. This is a bigger box, kind of like they did with the Giant Man. This is fan channel exclusive release. You can go out and pre-order. It'll be released in March. Comes with a figure stand, explosions, effects, uh, guns, hooks. Here's a closer up picture of the face printing technology. Looks just like Scarlett Johansson. There's the back of the box. So just announced is another exclusive. This is a Walmart exclusive for Black Widow. Comic accurate. This is the gray costume. Looks like she has a jet pack. This will be released for pre-order on January 23rd, 2020. Get out there and pre-order if you want it. And also at the same time, we got a Target exclusive Black Widow. This is there in a white costume, long hair. 
again, January 23rd, get out there to Target. And if you want to get it pre-ordered, go ahead and do it. So here are all of the Black Widows loose. Here they all are in package. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up. Check out my other Every Marvel Legends videos. Also some top 10 lists that I have. And I will talk to you guys later. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.